Today we are learning how to compare two whole numbers. Let's say you're asked to write greater than, less than, or equal to in each circle to make a true sentence. You have the number 452,187, and you're comparing it to the number 452,178. Well, it helps to start with a place value chart. We can take our first number and put it on top, starting with the ones place. Then we take our second number and we put it below, also starting with the ones place. Now we want to see which of these numbers is larger, so it makes sense for us to compare the largest place value first. Here the biggest place value that these numbers have are the hundred thousands, so we'll start by comparing those. But when we look, we have a four and a four. Now those numbers are the same, so it doesn't help us figure out which number's larger. We can cross those out and look to the next place value. Let's look at the ten thousands. Well, in the 10,000s place, we also have a 5 and a 5. They're the same again, so we'll cross those out too and keep moving. Next is the 1,000s place. Do they have the same digit or a different digit? Notice both of these numbers have a 2 in the 1,000s place, so when they're the same, cross them out and keep moving. In the 100s place, we also have a 1 and a 1. They're the same. Cross them out, keep moving. Now we get to the 10s place. When we look, the first number has an 8, and the second number has a 7. Finally, we found a place value that'll let us compare these numbers. We can see that an 8 is bigger than a 7, so the first number must be bigger than the second number. Now here's a trick for remembering which way to place your greater than or less than symbol. The symbol has a large side that's open. This big side is always the bigger number, and on the small pointy side, that's the smaller number. So if it's facing the other way, we see the big open side will be the bigger number, and the small pointy side will be the smaller number. So because our first number is the bigger one, we'll write our symbol like this. Let's do one of these together. Let's write a greater than, less than, or equal symbol in each circle to make a true sentence. And here are the two numbers we're comparing. This time, instead of using a place value chart, we'll just line the numbers up on our own. We could write out our first number, and then our second number right below it. Now whenever you compare numbers, it's important you make sure the ones place is lined up. Now that we have our numbers lined up, we can start comparing. Which two digits should we compare first? Well, when we compare, we start with the largest place value. So we'll compare these ones. We can see that they're the same, so we'll cross them out and move over. Next, we have a four and a four. What should we do with those? Well, those are the same, so cross them out and move to the next place value. Next, we have the 7 and the 7. What should we do with those? Again, they're the same, so cross them out and move over. Now we have a 3 and an 8. Now these are not the same, so this is the place value that'll let us decide. Which is larger, 3 or 8? Well, the 8 is larger, which means which number must be bigger? It must be this second number that's bigger. Now, which way should we put our greater than or less than symbol to show this? Well, remember that when you have a greater than or less than symbol, the big open side is the bigger number, and the small pointy side is the smaller number. So to show that our second number is bigger, we should have the big open side facing our second number. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Write a greater than, less than, or equal symbol in this circle to make a true sentence. The numbers you're comparing are here. The first thing you have to do is write out your numbers. Your first number, and then your second number right below it, so the ones places are lined up. Now we can start by comparing the largest place values. Here we have a 2 and a 2. They're the same, so we cross them out and move over. Next is the 5 and the 5. Again, they're the same. After that, we see the 8 and the 8 are the same. The 1 and the 1 are the same. The 3 and the 3 are the same and then we get to the 5 and the 4. Now these are different. We can tell that 5 is bigger than 4, so the first number is bigger than the second number. Now remember, with your greater than or less than symbol, the big open side is the bigger number, and the small pointy side, the smaller number. So to show that our first number is larger, write your greater than symbol like this. Now here's your last problem for today. Write a greater than, less than, or equal than symbol in the circle to make this a true sentence. Compare these two numbers. Well, we start by writing out our first number, and then right below it, we line up our ones place and write out our second number. Now we start comparing with the biggest place value. Six and six are the same. Nine and nine are the same. 
8 and 8 are the same, but 8 and 9 are not. This is the place value to look at. The 9 is bigger, and it's in the second number, so our second number must be larger. Now one last time, your greater than and less than symbol. The big open side is bigger, the small pointy side smaller. So to show that the second number is larger, draw your symbol like this. So from today, remember, compare numbers by lining up each place value. Then compare, starting with the largest place value first.